Howdy folks, thanks for coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. As you can see in front of you, we are back with another Tesla Cannon video. And if the title and thumbnail of today's video didn't give it away, the alternate current muzzle is finally here. We can finally play test the new alternate current muzzle with the Tesla Cannon. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I making a video about this particular muzzle in particular? So if you've missed my previous videos, we have been going over in quite a lot of detail uh, when it comes to the Tesla Cannon. Pretty much last Wednesday, we brought out a video here going over all of the data mine images, all of the files, everything that was related to the Tesla Cannon, going over the muzzle attachments, all of the attachments and damage numbers. However, when the Tesla Cannon first came into the PTS, pretty much this day last week when all of the vault raids and gleaming depth stuff came in, the pretty much the, the alternate current muzzle was actually missing. So the Tesla Cannon came in and the only two muzzles that were available were the standard and also the direct current muzzle. However, as of yesterday, the PTS did get a little update and also I'll link the notes in the description below so you guys can check that out. But the alternate current muzzle was added with that update, which is awesome news. It is great to actually finally have it here and to finally test it and to show you guys exactly what it does. But I bring good news, but I also bring bad news. And unfortunately, the bad news outweighs the good news. So look, I think, to be honest, it's probably best to start with the good news, um, but it's <laughs> it's not that impressive. The good news is that the alternate current muzzle, and if you're unaware and for a bit of context, the alternate current muzzle basically turns this weapon or essentially any sort of projectiles that you fire out of the weapon will chain it or turn it into a chain lightning effect. So as you can see there, on direct hit, projectile chains to nearby foes. So very similar to the Tesla rifle. If you ever used that before, once you hit an enemy, you'll inflict a certain amount of damage and then that will chain react onto another enemy and so forth and so on. Um, that's the good news. That's the only good news that I have is that the fact that it does actually work and it works as intended. Um, we'll show that in the demonstrations and we'll discuss that very shortly. Um, but the bad news, and I need to be brutally honest because if you've been watching my videos here on the channel over the last while, you'll probably know at this stage how much I've wanted this weapon in Fallout 76 and how eager I've been to, to try and get this into the game. And I want this to be successful. I really do. I have a very personal connection to the Tesla Cannon, you know, from the previous Fallout games. I loved it in Fallout 3. I loved it in New Vegas. So I really want to see this weapon succeed and I want to see it do well when it makes its way into the live servers. Obviously, from my previous videos, we've seen that this weapon performs so well. I mean, with the right effects on it, with the right attachments, with the right build, this thing hits like an absolute truck. It's such a great weapon to use. However, there's an issue. <laughs> You're probably like, oh, of course, there's always issues. So... As you can see, it will obviously on direct hit projectile chains to nearby foes. That's the effect that it produces. However, the second star, projectiles explode for 20% weapon damage. Unfortunately, when you attach this muzzle, it renders the explosive damage not only for the second star effect, but the entire explosive damage for the Tesla Cannon completely useless. Yes, unfortunately, if you do have the uh, projectiles explode for 20% weapon damage effect and also as well the actual explosive Tesla cannon effect. So what I'll do is I'll quickly visually show you that here. So as you can see, it produces an explosive effect, that lovely ball of electricity explosions going around there. But unfortunately, when it comes to the alternate current muzzle, as you can see, it doesn't do that whatsoever visually it doesn't do it and also as well when it comes to the damage numbers and the damage it's inflicting it doesn't do that either so i'll show you exactly what i mean so let's go in here but actually first of all as you can see the damage on the actual tesla cannon with the projectiles explode for plus 20 percent weapon damage is 588 so that's the base damage that we're getting with demolition expert on Let's just quickly go back over and take off Demolition Expert. <laughs> You're not going to like this, but it actually stays the exact same. So as you can see, that is confirmation right there that this particular muzzle completely removes the explosive effect, which is 
such a shame. <laughs> I know. It's you're you're probably thinking to yourself, my God, why did they have to do that? <laughs> so yeah, if you do decide to go down the route and actually apply the alternate current muzzle, it will actually render the whole explosive effect of the Tesla cannon plus the actual legendary effect if you manage to get it completely useless. There won't be any explosive damage numbers that you'll be able to produce. And also as well, unfortunately, because I know more than likely there probably will be a comment asking about this, when it comes to the fourth star effect, which is the fracturer's effect, as you can see there, what it does is when crippling limbs, they explode and deal up to 150 explosion damage to nearby targets. Unfortunately, from my own testing, and I'm also going to show you here real quick with my legendary perks, I don't have on far-flung fireworks. That's not on, so it's not producing any explosive damage or anything like that. For some reason, and I really, 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 really hope I'm wrong when I say this, and I hope it's just something that maybe they just need to actually visually incorporate it when, you know, before it actually gets put into the live game. But unfortunately, it seems like that fourth star effect doesn't seem to work. Yes, it doesn't seem to actually work. So when crippling limbs, they explode and deal up to 150 explosion damage. I've done crippling shots. I've tried crits. I've done everything. And I cannot seem to actually get that effect to work with this particular muzzle. So it looks like any explosion damage or any explosive sort of visual and damage will just not work if you put on the alternate current muzzle so yeah <laughs> it's um it's a bit of a disappointment uh, to say the least it, it, it is a shame because and look i would rather be honest and say that because uh, as i said i want to see this weapon succeed i i really do want to see this weapon do well when it comes into the live game and it's just it, it, it is such a shame and i i, I can I can somewhat understand why they decided to do this because obviously if you kind of see this on paper like first of all uh, I mean I'm just even going to show you as well like there is a big damage drop off like if I go on and I put on the direct current muzzle I think also as well I don't have demolition expert on so I'll actually I'll pop that on so just to show you the comparison here um let me go back over here and swap the muzzles um it's this one here so let's say I have this as the direct and then I want to put on the alternate I'm getting a damage drop off of 91 I mean like it's just one of those things where I don't really see this as a benefit to use which is such a shame because you know like I know I touched on briefly that I understand why they've done this and I think look it's better to discuss that I can understand that more than likely they don't want to have all of these issues arising from a chain lightning thing like i know you know sometimes people might have seen like the, the the actual tesla rifle bug that we've had in the game before where you know like you've been at events and you've just seen the text chain all around the place they maybe just don't want like another thing like that happening or possibly they just don't want the servers to crash from everyone using this muzzle and having the explosive effect it could I don't know, maybe it would crash the server or maybe just make the server lag. I, I, I just don't know. We, we need a full server of people to test that. Um, so yeah, if you want a Fallout 76 meetup either on PC or Xbox later on in the year, let me know and let's try and crash the server <laughs> for science. Um, but yeah, I think that's why they've actually gone down that route. Um, look, it sucks. It really does. Um, but I'd rather just be honest with you guys and just kind of tell it how it is. I would rather see it that the explosive effect would work with it, but I can understand there's probably limitations for them on their side of things that they, uh, they've, they've probably discussed and said, Hey, look, you know, let's not put this in the PTS just yet. Maybe we need to test this a little bit further. And I think that's probably why they've gone down that direction. Um, but look, again, that could all change. I've, I've said it a million times before. Everything can change before it's officially released. Um, but just to give you guys a heads up, putting on the alternate current muzzle will firstly remove all of the explosive effects uh, from the weapon and also the legendary effects. Uh, it will make those null and void. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's that's the update. That's the uh, that's the Tesla cannon. Um, of course, look, all of the heavy gunner perks will still work with this. You can still use that to boost the damage. You'll still get the sixty percent extra damage. Um, if you don't have the uh, alternate current muzzle on and you decide to go down the direct current muzzle route. You can still use Grenadier, Demolition Expert, 
they'll all still work um regardless the science perk cards they won't work with the tesla cannon so there's no point in investing into those look i've gone over this build quite a lot <laughs> over the last sort of week so i think at this stage y'all probably know just a, a heavy gunner explosive build that's that's basically what it is if you want to pause the video here go ahead and do so or hey look you know you can check out my previous videos that we've gone over this in detail with um so yeah look you can still put this build together let's go and test it out let's go over to west tech real quick uh, and i'll show you visually what it looks like um just to show you that it, it actually does what it says in the tin that is the good news that, that's the one good factor to come out of this uh so yeah i like i I, I I've said it, you know. I um, <laughs> I've given my thoughts. I'm uh, I'm not particularly happy, but you know, maybe maybe that could change. Or if it doesn't, hey, look, it's it's just it's just an an, an alternative thing to to go with. Um, so yeah, I've been to West Tech here already. As you can see, I've been testing this out quite a lot. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll we'll go inside West Tech. And uh, we'll, we'll try it out in the Super Mutants in there, just so you can actually you can actually see that. Um, oh yeah, there's my level one pineapple, little baby pineapple, when he first emerged from the PC uh, Vault 76 Vault. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go over here and let's see how this works. So just to give you a bit of context, this is the the direct current muzzle. Let's try the three star variant, which is this one. So plus fifty. Do you know what? I'll show you as well. Where's it gone? Uh, that's the four star. That's the three star. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so and uh, there we go. So let's try this real quick. That's just on one enemy, but we need to get multiple ones all together. So let's try this. So we got him there. We got that there. So let's try and see. Come on, get together. There we go. See, it is actually producing the chain lightning so it is actually tagging other enemies <laughs> so there you go that does work um again look i think to be honest maybe sort of the best route to go down if you're going to be using this particular muzzle i've sort of felt just from my testing that the two shot variant might be a little bit better than the bloodied variant um i know technically you know you're probably thinking to yourself oh well why but Obviously, with two shot, you're doing that extra damage with the additional arc. So I'll show you, for example, here. So let's say I go on to the three star. So there you go. So plus one projectiles, plus 25% damage. Uh, let's go in here and let's try and tag a few enemies. So let's try and all get them awake here. There we go. Hey, we got that, uh, got that dog in one shot there. But we need to try and get a couple of super mutants. Try and get them all tagged up together here. Come on. Follow me, buddy. Follow me. But just don't kill me, though. Oh, oh, God. All right, let's try this. Hey, 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 there you go. There we go. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> like, it's still powerful. Don't get me wrong. It still will do damage. It will still hit like a truck. But just not as much of a impact as the direct current muzzle with the explosive effect i mean look real quick we'll oh we got all these in here all right let's just try and get one more of them here and real quick is there any more upstairs i think there is let me see here real quick let's open this there you go as you can see it is tagging and it is hitting off the both of them and there we go both of them are dead but for context let's just go over to the direct current muzzle which is this one and it comes with the explosive effect Still doing quite a lot more damage. Uh, boom. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> and one shot. And also one shot. <laughs> now, obviously, look, with the build that I have here, I've shown you many times already, you can definitely improve upon this. Like, there you go. Like, that is just... That is just awesome. <laughs> Try and get a one shot outside of that. Well, I know this is just a super mutant hound, so... Who really cares about that, right? Uh, let's try it on a super mutant. Oh, there you go. <laughs> One shot outside of that. There you go. Two shots to a legendary enemy. That is awesome. Um, so yeah, that that's it. That's uh, that's that's the uh, direct or sorry, the alternate current muzzle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I kind of killed myself from the explosive effect. <laughs> super mutant's just like puny human. Stupid Tesla cannon. <laughs>
<laughs> so, yep, there you go, folks. That is the alternate current muzzle. Unfortunately, it is not the best. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed. And yeah, I kind of thought it would be a little bit better than than what it is. But hey, look, at least it does actually do what it says in the tin. It obviously chain lights effects or whatever. It arcs off of other enemies. It does do that. Um, but yeah, not not a not not a not a good result though. <laughs> but anyway, let's wrap up today's video. However, that's everything for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on the Tesla Cannon and what your experience has been so far with it. As always, if you found today's video informative, consider giving the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. To our channel members and subscribers, thank you for your continued support and helping the channel to grow. If you're picking up anything over on the Bethesda Gear Store and you'd like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BT76ROCKET until October 15th to receive 20% off your entire purchase. Until next time, Stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.